So um, I've been working with Lucky on his threshold in the kennel. And I will be doing a video on how to, how to. I guess I could do that right now. But I also wanted to show you the reason why it was such a good idea uh, to have them work on that. As you can see, I've been feeding him in his kennel. That's the safest place for him. Um, when he's eating, it's safe for everybody, just to keep everybody separated when they're eating. So he's got a mess in the bottom of his kennel. I've opened his kennel door. He really wants to come out. But I've told him, I've taught him that he can't until I give him the release word or give him a different command. If he tries to come out, you shut the door pretty quickly. And it doesn't hurt him. It's just a shock and a surprise. But it shows them that they need to wait. Also, I want him to wait. I, would, I prefer him to be lying down waiting on me to give him the command to come out. Um, sitting's okay, but they are at their calmest when they're laying down. So if I can get him to lie down and wait, then I'll do, then that's what I want. So I know he's not going to leave. And the idea is for me to be able to completely walk away from his kennel and he just stays in there until I give the appropriate commands. <laughs> he's a little, <laughs> the great thing about this is he doesn't even know that I'm the one who shut the door. He looks at the door and not to me when he's thinking I might come on out. It's funny, but he's waiting for me to give him the okay. All right, I'm gonna set this up here on top of his crate so that you can see one of the reasons I like to have them just stay in their crate. So with him in this calm position, I'm able to get his collars on him before he ever leaves the kennel. So I've already put on the e-collar. I haven't adjusted it and tightened it or anything. I just put it on him loosely so I can finish it when he gets out of the, the kennel. Now I want to put on the prong collar. <clears throat> Lucky. Lucky. Good boy. And he always wants to sit for this, and I don't mind as long as I can put it on him. So like I said, you want to have him um, calm before you leave, before he leaves the kennel. I am actually going to go run and get his leash. It's on the table in there. And I don't want him to leave, so hopefully we can do that. This, this kind of test for him. I'm going to walk over to the table and get his leash. Good boy. And now I can put the leash on him. And now when he leaves the kennel, I want him to be in a calm state. It looks like he's going to tear out of the kennel. I'm going to put him back. So I'll simply say, here. Good boy, here. And that's it. He's out, came out very calmly. I want him to sit when he comes out. No problem. Now if I had a problem with him coming out really fast, we would do drills. So I would say... Lucky kennel. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Here. Lucky here. It's okay. Here. Good boy. Sit. Good job. And I would just repeat that over and over again. So that's it. That's how you work on... Um, kennel work, threshold work in the kennel. I'm Jessica Mashburn, the lady in OK Lady Canine Training.